as we delve more into this series, we're going to be understanding how making your own inputs is the way to go. Hey guys, welcome back to Pro Tips. Dan here on day seven, excited to share this one. Today's pro tip is make sure you're growing a lot of nitrogen fixing plants. Nitrogen fixing plants, what the heck are you talking about, Danny? We have some plants that take nitrogen from the soil, they need nitrogen to grow, and then there's other plants that fix nitrogen into the soil. From the atmosphere, they take the nitrogen and replenish it in the soil and there are many plants considered nitrogen fixtures a lot of them being in the legume family the key is to find nitrogen fixing plants that are going to do well in your garden down here in south florida from my experience the best one is sun hemp and then we have grasses like this sorghum i've seen people use millet all types of cover crops cover crops is synonymous for nitrogen fixing plants but I gotta say, I really like the ones that grow into small trees. This one being my favorite, Mexican sunflowers. This is gonna grow extremely vigorously. This makes for a great chop and drop, meaning we're going to chop and drop so that that biomass of plant material can decompose essentially like a natural fertilizer. Now we can use all of this biomass for composting systems for our source of nitrogen. I just really wanted to highlight this Mexican sunflower. It's really easy to propagate. This cutting right here, for instance, we could just remove bottom half of the leaves and just plant this in the soil and this will take off. So it's great to have these in the garden planted around the perimeters or anywhere there's bare space. As we delve more into this series, we're gonna be understanding how making your own inputs is the way to go. Sure, you can buy the inputs, but sometimes you don't know how long they've been sitting on the shelves for, how biologically active those products are. So if we can just use our own inputs. Not only is it more cost effective, it's more nutritious and sustainable. This is one of the greatest natural inputs that you can have in your food forest garden. Must grow in South Florida. Take this proof of concept for example. We got really creative and decided to make a sunflower tunnel here. It's cool to know that one day we can just swap out these plants for fruit trees. Maybe instead of having a sunflower tunnel, we decide we wanna have a muscadine grape tunnel or a mulberry tunnel, right? In other words, Mexican sunflowers are a great plant to grow as a precursor to the thing that you really wanna grow.